Okay, so my name is Stephen Carrasco, and this is Alejandro Ojeda, my little brother. And today we're going to be teaching him about galaxies, right, Alejandro? Yes. Okay, so Alejandro, what do you think a galaxy is? Galaxy, uh... You don't know? I don't know. Well, a galaxy can be a collection of gas, space gas, dust, uh, and billions and trillions of stars, or a lot of stars, okay? Uh, and in them, in galaxies, are what we call solar systems, as what we have. You know, like the sun, earth, and all the other planets and everything, right? Yeah. Okay, and so those are all held together, Alejandro, by what we call a supermassive black hole. Do you know what a black hole is? So do you know what gravity is? Yeah. So theoretically, a black hole, uh, and black holes, just as a side note, can be... Uh, the aftermath of a collapsed star. So once a star used all its dust or all its gas, then uh, that star that star collapses uh, because of the imbalanced layers in that star, and from then uh, the the star becomes a black hole. Okay. So look, I'm gonna show a little uh, representation of what a black hole could be or the galaxies. Okay, Alejandro. Okay. So look. So we have. Our little solar system, right? That's the sun and all the planets, right? And they all go around like that. And that's just my little sketch of the galaxy or of a the solar system. Okay. And then, okay, Alejandro, check this out. I, I have a little picture right here. That could be what we call uh, a galaxy. Okay. So like, we have the black hole. It's like, it kind of looks like, look, it kind of looks like the solar system here. Okay. But the galaxy, right? You have the... You can have the, the black hole like this, right? Yes. That'll be the black hole. Mm -hmm. And around it is just dust that's spinning around the black hole, okay? Okay. And do you know what galaxy we're in, Alejandro? Mm -hmm. We're in a galaxy called the Milky Way Galaxy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Right? Forgot, Remember yeah. that? Yeah, I forgot that. So do you know why it's called the, Mil the Milky Way Galaxy? Uh, it's simple. It, it's it's just it's just the color that our galaxy kind of looks. Okay, so like we have the black hole like that, and the black hole, right? And this is this is my little sketch of the black hole in the galaxy right there. Just a rough sketch. Anyway, so that's the black hole that's holding the galaxy together, or just gravity in general holding the gravity or the the galaxy together, right? So the black hole is making everything push into there like that. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so now that we got that set aside, what's next? So our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, uh, with galaxies, Alejandro, there's going to be different types of galaxies, and they range from, like, super round galaxies to the galaxy that I showed you on here that kind of looked a little bunch, like, jumbled up, right? And uh, there's also, like, elliptical galaxies, or, like, that are kind of spear-shaped, uh, there's also spiral galaxies, which is the one like I showed you. This kind of looks like a spiral, a spiral, right? That's yeah. the galaxy that we're in. So we're in a galaxy like that. That's our home galaxy. Uh, our our solar system, Alejandro, is twenty five thousand years or uh, light ways away from this light years away from the center of the galaxy. So do you know how far a light year is? So light travels extremely fast. Okay. So the light from the sun that we see, the when we see when we look in the sky, Alejandro, when we see the sun, it takes the light from that sun to finally reach our eyes. It takes eight minutes. That's how long it takes, and that's how far away the sun is. So if we were to look and put that in a bigger scale, it takes light from the center of our galaxy, Alejandro. And this is a really like you know the sun's really far, right? Yeah. And you know the sun because like the sun's so far, it takes a while for light to travel. Okay, yeah. so just to put that on a bigger scale, look, here's the, here's the sun, and here's earth, okay? That's the sun, and then there's earth right there. It takes light from the sun to travel to earth, eight minutes. It's kind of a long time for, or a short kind of period of time for light to travel. That's how, fa that's how fast light's moving. So if we're going to put that on a bigger scale, Alejandro, from our solar system, to the galaxy, to the center of the galaxy, it takes light from the solar system to reach us 
25,000 years. That's a, that's a long time, right? Yeah, I can see the number. Yeah. So how old are you? Five. Five years old. You're five years old. Let's just do the math, Alejandro. So it would take... Let's just do the math here. So if you did 25,000 divided by five, that's 5,000 times older than you are. What does that mean? Yeah. 5,000 times. Oh, that's a long time, okay? So that's just to give you a little brief um, representation of how big the galaxy is and how far stretched it is and everything, okay? okay. And so, also, our galaxy isn't at the very edge, but it's not in the middle either. It's, like, kind of at the brim of the edge, like that. The brim at the edge? Yeah, kind of, like, I just have a little black dot right there. That would be us. That's what we can consider to be us. Yeah, it's a long time. Sorry, it's a long video. Anyway, so also our galaxy can be made up of approximately 100 billion stars. That's a lot of stars, right? That's a lot of different suns. Yeah. So, another, 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 another little note, Alejandro. Our galaxy isn't the only galaxy in the universe. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. There's other galaxies out there. Mm -hmm. So, our neighboring galaxy, Alejandro, is the Andromeda galaxy. Okay. And that's our closest neighbor. It's also a spiral galaxy, like the Milky Way, or like our galaxy is. Uh, it's heading. It's actually heading towards us, pretty fast, uh, and it contains up to a trillion stars. Looks like Saturn. Almost right. How Saturn has the rings. Yeah. It's cool, right? So yeah. Um, so think about it, Alejandro. It's actually a bigger galaxy because it has uh, a, a, at least a, tr a trillion stars. Our galaxy, Alejandro, has a billion. Now, a trillion is a lot bigger than a billion, right? Yeah. So that's pretty crazy. I love space. Like a trillion trillion. Yeah. So, look, here's another thing, Alejandro. There's galaxy shapes. We have our spiral galaxy. Our spiral galaxy. Galaxy. That's our galaxy. That's what we have. There's also something called the Baird uh, spiral, which is kind of like... It's, it's, it's kind of the same thing as a spiral. This is a spiral, Alejandro. And the Baird is just like that. That's just a little representation. That's kind of what the picture I'm showing you. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like uh, on the computer. Then we also have our elliptical galaxies. Uh, those are more like circle. Uh, and then we have our regular galaxies, which are just messed up, messy galaxies that look kind of weird. So those are just your basic ones. So how do galaxies form, Alejandro? Well, like I told you in the beginning, um, in the beginning of time, Alejandro, we had something called, or a theory, called the Big Bang. And now, okay, yes, yes, okay, hold on. So we have the Big Bang, right? And the Big Bang basically was a, a giant particle explosion that released all the particles and elements out into space. And then from there, dark matter, uh, we don't really know much about dark matter, but we can, we can tell from the way it behaves, as with those pockets and everything a lot, and it kind of keeps... The gal or the universe together like a balance, and so I know I'm cramming your brain with a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. But do you feel smarter? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So anyway, so um, <clears throat> uh, all the all the dust that was released from the Big Bang, Alejandro, uh, is then condensed and clumps together, and then all the masses from each other would uh, form gravity, and then from there gravity would take on all the dust and then form stars and stars would collapse form black holes those black holes would also take in other matter and eventually you have your black hole that's crazy right Alejandro look right there that's a star about to be a galaxy oh yeah I can, I can see that red star right yeah, there okay yeah so then sim everything up Alejandro we have the big bang stars come together the ending uh they form supermassive black holes and they attract other stars and dust and boom, galaxies are born. And that's a little picture of a black hole. You have any questions, Alejandro? No? no. All right, cool. That'll be the end of our video. Uh, so now just to go over those questions. So, Alejandro, uh, I know I showed you galaxies, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what did I find most interesting about this project uh, was actually teaching Alejandro something that I'm very passionate about. I love space, I love astronomy and stuff like that, so I'm always happy to share with anybody who has any questions uh, about that stuff. I'm always reading, like reading on, uh, reading about it on my own. 
my own time. I like that stuff. Uh, challenge was actually teaching what I would consider advanced no advanced knowledge to this youngling. Sorry, my parents are in the background, but uh, yeah, it's teaching advanced knowledge to my youngling brother. Uh, and so that I don't, do you really understand Alejandro? What everything, how yeah. everything works? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, that's probably the most challenging thing. But other than that, this video was fun. I hope you enjoyed, Coach. And I'll see you hopefully. I don't know when. But all right, have Tuesday. a good day. Bye. Bye.